Previously on Rock of Love. We're going to shoot a mock album cover for Brett. Jess really didn't step up to the plate as creative director. I'm not here to make friends with you guys. I'm here because I want to be with Brett. I want Lacey gone. She's a malicious, manipulative bitch. We can do whatever we want. Belly rings, piercings, tattoos. Let's do it. I'll get it on my neck. When Heather told me that, I thought she could be the one. If he just wants to hook up with girls and that's all, I don't want to be here. I can't stand it anymore. Yeah, I'm too sensitive to be here. And I can't take it. Lacey is hated by every girl in that house. I can't stand Lacey. She's so evil. So she openly admitted to us that she was very manipulative. I had to send Mia home. She just didn't bring it. I'm feeling victorious. These girls are trying to take me out, and it's not working. And Brett is seeing me for who I truly am. So the other girls need to watch out. After tonight, it'll be four. I know. I can't get over it. And it's getting to the point, too, where it's like almost impossible to tell who's going to go home. Last night, it was really hard to watch my friend Mia go, but they realized that there's only five of us left, and now it's getting serious. And I just got to watch my back for the conniving bitches. Lacey. What's up, y'all? Hey. Here's your note. All right, ladies. Some of my kick ass fans took a long flight to this rock star city to spend the night. They came all this way to let me know who's gonna stay and who's gotta go. They got some questions about the time we've shared that want some answers, so be prepared. You know I love my fans, so show some respect. Someone's going home and they're gonna help me select. We're meeting some of Brett's fans and I can't help but think they're gonna be some big haired 80s girls that look like Heather. Ew. All right, let's go. I'm pretty sure that Brett's super fans are a bunch of hot girls. Cool by me, I'm not jealous. So I'm excited. I'm just a little bit afraid of what they're gonna ask us though. I'm yeah. not. I think Sam's I'm gonna have a problem with this. Sam's is definitely cool. gonna have a problem with this. She's yeah. just too shy. Right. One reason why I'm kind of excited about this is um, they're gonna be able to talk to Lacey. It's actually a good thing to have outsiders come into the house, get to know us, and you know, especially with Lacey, then that way they can go back and tell Brett what a Fruit Loop this chick is. I think she's gonna have a struggle with this kind of, this one. Good. Cause she sucks. Lacey is a nasty, mean, dumb bitch girl right now. This is a challenge that is already working in our favor. Yeah. Good morning, ladies. How you doing today? Good. Everyone feeling all right? Mm-hmm. Good. Well, today I have the most important subject of all for me, that is passion, and especially the passion I feel about my fans, which is absolutely the most important thing to me. So today, I've got with me three super fans, girls I have known a long time. They're gonna come down here and have a field day with you all. And it's time to get serious. I gotta start weeding out the ones that aren't here for me. John, bring down my fans. This is Amy. She's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, my hometown. I believe she still sleeps in the first t-shirt I ever threw her. All right, John, you want to bring Kai down? Hey, hon. How are you? Awesome. Great. Come on in. <laughs> this is Kai Lissa. She even has a cat named Poison, which I love. Hi. That's a true story. John, you want to bring down lovely Allison? This is Allison. She is an uber fan because we got together talking about music, talking about other bands. Wow, these girls are really hot. And that's intimidating to me. My first impression on these girls is uh, bitch, bitch, bitch. Can there be any more sluts in this house? Anyway, here's what we're doing today. All three are my friends. They are, they've been around me a long time, so they're here to help us resolve any unknown issues, any X-factor issues, they're here to help us figure that all out, okay? The super fans are gonna ask these girls some questions, find out which one of these five girls is true, which one is phony, and find out ultimately who's got what it takes to be my girl. The contest is you win, you're going on the most kick-ass date tonight, one person, a solo date. Let's get down to it. We're gonna grill you. All right, I'm out. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm gonna be grilled by these girls. I'm the queen of intimidation, and you're gonna try to intimidate me. So I think this one's gonna be easy. <laughs> Okay, ladies, so here's the deal. John's gonna pull you in one by one later to talk to us. For now, you can wait outside. Amy sends us outside, and it's cold out. It's like raining. Uh, last time I checked, we lived here, and she didn't. Sorry, girl. Hi. What's up? Hey. Brandy, you want to come with me? Yeah. Victim yeah. number one. Oh, thanks. Watch your step. Okay. So I'm going first today, and I'm nervous, and I have no idea what I'm in for right now. I get led into an interrogation room, and this bright light poof in my face, and I'm like, what the is going on? What's your name? Brandy. Where are you from? Vegas, Nevada. What do you do for a living? I'm a dancer. What kind of dancing? Exotic. So, you're just looking for a ticket out of the strip club? So far, no. Do you plan on dancing forever? No. I'm going to school for an interior design and architect. What do you want to design? Terrible. I mean, strip clubs? No. Oh my god, did these little bitches drill me on that? What the They've never seen a dancer before? If he wasn't some rich rock star, would you still be interested? Yes, I would. I've never been with a rock star before in my life, and it's not about that. You just have a perfect answer for everything. You just, you know, it really seems like... I think you're putting on a good show for us, and I don't really buy a lot of what you're saying. Well, thank you for your statement. Yeah. You're not really showing us who you are. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. No. This is who I am. Sorry. So you're looking for our long-term, short-term yeah, relationship? Long -term. Is a better match for Brett? I'm for real, I'm honest, and I'm who I am, and I have nothing to hide. I was burning. My hair was smoking. The bobby pins are burning into my scalp. I'm getting pissed. That's, it's, that's good. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Being in that interrogation room was a nightmare, having little girls drill you. What do you think of that one? I think he's fake. I didn't believe a word she said. Just hang out up here. All right. And uh, we'll be up in just a bit. Oh, yikes. You bitches. Ouch. So it's time for my challenge. And I'm really kind of nervous. And all I have is myself right now. Where are you from? New York. I think Brett has feelings for you. I'm pretty sure he does. What makes you think that? from the way that he looks at me and the stuff that we talk about. It's a pretty friendly guy. He's nice to everybody. My heart starts to pound, and I'm like, holy f I'm being interrogated. We connected on an emotional level because I was feeling insecure about being in the house and the competition, and I don't do well with other girls. It's hard for me. I want to tell these girls to off so bad, and I, I want to kick them all in their face, and I want to walk out. As a rock star's girlfriend, you can't disappoint him in bed. I want to hear your best fake orgasm. Oh my god, I, I, I don't feel comfortable. So you never fake it? No, I, I'm sorry. You are so shy that you can't moan. I don't need to prove it to you guys. Really? So you do. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> There's no way that I'm going to give these bitches the satisfaction of possibly embarrassing myself in front of them. You seem to lack a little confidence. I guess so. That's gonna be a problem. You need to be a pretty confident girl to date somebody in the limelight. You seem kind of out of it. Are you emotionally stable? It seems like you're gonna break down right here. Do you see a therapist? Y you know, Brett needs to date a really strong, secure, independent woman. And I don't know that that's what I'm looking at right here. I'm gonna explode and I feel it. It's taking all that I have in me to not break down.
breaking up. Do you think Britt really wants to settle down with a stripper? Um, do you see a therapist? Yes, I do. Are you on medication? Yes. And later. I haven't seen you show any emotion. I want to see yeah. something genuine. And I need to believe you. I'm so frustrated right now because the other girls in the house have obviously gotten to the fans. Brett needs to date a really strong, secure, independent woman. And I don't know that that's what I'm looking at right here. OK. All right, that's it. All right. Thanks. So I'm done with the interview. Probably my worst nightmare, because no one should ever feel like they have to take that sort of abuse. You OK? Hey, what's wrong? Hey. Oh, come here. Come here. <laughs> I let these girls win, and I really let myself down. The fact that I let them get to me was so emotional for me that right when I walked out of there, I exploded. What happened? I hate girls. They're just evil bitches. This whole ordeal has definitely broken Sam down, and I don't think she's going to be able to take much more of this. I think I'm just going to leave. Hi, ladies. What's your name? I'm Jess. And where are you from, Jess? I'm from Chicago. What do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist, and I bartend. What's the name of the drummer in Poison? I don't know. Can you name any of their albums? I can't. What about your lips? Um, I've had them injected. I'm just going to assume those are your real boobs. Uh, yeah, you stupid bitch. I wouldn't buy boobs and get them this small. Are you a good kisser? Mm -hmm. I would say the name. Mm -hmm. Can I pick one of us and show us? OK. OK. Are you kidding me? I don't want to make out with a chick. I don't. Absolutely not. OK. How's that for you? She's going to need a lip biting. How's it going in the house here with you and the other girls? We're all cordial with each other just to get through the day, but I've had, I've had issues with Lacey. I wouldn't choose to talk to her outside of the house. Do you think she's crazy? I have thought that, yes. Mm -hmm. I want them to truly find out the conniving, malicious, crackhead Lacey that she is and tell Brad. You are Grace under pressure. Thank you. Thank We're you. done. After the interrogation, I feel confident walking out of there that I didn't present myself as something I wasn't. Hey. I'm Heather. It's nice to meet you guys. Eek. Where are you from, Heather? Columbus, Ohio. That's where you live right now? No, I live in Las Vegas. What do you do for a living? Here we go again with the stupid <laughs> stripper, this stripper, that. Oh my god, I'm so sick of it. I actually am a, a dancer. What kind of dancing exactly when you say dancing? Um, exotic pop. Does it embarrass you? Um, a little bit. Why are you here? To find love. Do you think Brett is your ticket out? Um, do you think Brett really wants to settle down with a stripper? Um, so uncomfortable. Like, what, why are we all being judged here? Like, this is getting ridiculous. Do you care if any of us have slept with Brett? No, because I'm sure you have. You're all hot. I would f him, you know? <laughs> Point for honesty. Yeah. yeah. How about tattoos? Do you know what? You guys have never, ever wanted a tattoo ever until I got here. And Brett and I went out, and um, we went and had sushi. I'm like, you know what? Let's go get a tattoo. Would you get a tattoo tonight? Yeah. I'm going to get Brett on the back of my neck. You're going to get his name tattooed on your neck? Yes, I am. So far, so good. I think these crazy bitches like me. I just want to thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. It's, it's been fantastic and very refreshing. Thank you Thanks. guys very much. And it's been nice meeting you. I hope you guys can come have a drink. Yeah, okay. I think I kicked ass in the interview. I was honest. I think Amy wants to do me. What's your name? My name is Lacey. Where are you from, Lacey? I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, and I moved to LA two years ago. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a musician. You do sing. Mm -hmm. Sing oh, or something. Yeah, sing is one of Brett's songs. This is right in my alley, and I know I'm going to do well at this because I'm good at keeping my composure and I don't crack under pressure. Every rose has its thorn, just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. <laughs> you know what, girls, you cannot break me. I know all of your tricks, I've used all of your tricks, and uh, you're not gonna get me down. Would you be really surprised if I told you that nobody in the house likes you? No, I wouldn't be surprised. And why do you think that is? I'm in a situation where I've, I found this guy that I really, really like, and you know, I'm gonna fight for him, damn it. Do you have anger issues? No, I don't have anger issues, but I'm aggressive. I'm waiting. Don't touch me. Get this bitch off of me. 
all the girls prior to me must have been talking about me. And it kind of pisses me off. So, you know, I'm not here to make friends. Are you stable? Oh, yeah. You think you're stable? Absolutely. Do you see a therapist? Yes, I do. Are you on medication? Yes. Do you think Brett wants a crazy, volatile woman in his I, life? I don't. I honestly don't consider myself crazy and volatile. You don't. Are you kidding? Oh, oh no. my god. This really is starting to get to me now. Everybody keeps saying over and over again that I'm crazy, and I'm completely opposite of that. I'm not sure that what we're seeing is you. Lacey, mm -hmm. I think we're done. OK, all right, well, thank you, girls, very much. Appreciate it. I'm here to play a game. I'm here you know, with a strategy and with a plan, and they're mistaking that as that I'm this evil, heartless person, and I'm not. There's nothing I real about it. her. No. So how'd it go? Um, I thought it pretty. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm good at high pressure situations like that, so it wasn't terrible. How about with you girls? <laughs> like shut the f up. This is hell. Hey. hey. Hi. <clears throat> That's a drink. <sighs> Love a drink. I need to kiss up to these girls because they're gonna decide who gets to date with Brett tonight. Do we have to eat with our fingers? Um, no. Okay. Perfect. Fun. Yeah. I'll go grab some forks and stuff. There's napkins. We'll get a five in here. There you go. You know, oh, All the other girls are kissing their asses. I stay true to myself and true to my emotions, and I'm not gonna give anybody, anybody the pleasure of speaking with me because you don't deserve it. Allison Boob Fund. <laughs> my family started one. My nickname's Beaner, and it's called the Beanie Booby Fund. You wouldn't look right with boobs. No, no you are no, but just the, the way you are. are. I like you got like that Gwen Stefani thing going on. Like she just rocks the flat chest. Turns out these girls are actually really, really cool. I heard too much action going on. <laughs> After the girls and the super fans mixed it up a little bit, I came back out to see what's going on. Cheers, Cheers. everybody, Cheers. to Brett. Come on, Brandy, get Cheers. over here. Cheers. Cheers, get in. in there. Are we missing Uno or yeah, Dose? Sam. Sam. Sam broke. They broke Sam. <laughs> Why did Sam break? What's up? Know. They broke her. Yeah. What's up <laughs> going on? It's worrying me because I don't know where Sam is, and she should really be down here socializing with the girls. I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. What do you mean? It's not for me. What is it? This whole thing. Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on, come on. Come on. I go upstairs to find Sam, and Sam's really, really upset. I don't deserve to be interrogated. I don't need some to tell me who I am. I don't give a I'm going home. I got to do. Because I care about you. I care about you as a person, and I care about how you, you're feeling. I don't want you to regret it. That's what I want you to think about. I personally don't want to see you go. Sam can't go. I mean, she's a great girl. She's the only good girl other than myself in the house. And if she goes, who the hell am I going to talk to? Lacey? I can't feel this way anymore about myself. I don't like being sad. I don't like being emotional. Right. If you don't feel comfortable, you don't want to, I, I get it. All I feel right now is I got to go home. It's not worth it. And it's not worth me feeling this way. Nobody deserves to be ridiculed like that. Whatever you decide, you know I support you 100%. Have we lost Sam? Where's Sam? Should we? We're, we're, we're gonna let Sam chill for a minute just to get her thoughts together. And later, I really gotta consider my fans' advice. There's something there, but um, Maybe I, I don't think might leave. That she's your girl. She's the one that should go. Whatever you decide, you know I support you 100%. I personally don't want to see you go. Sam can't go. If she goes. Who the hell am I going to talk to? Lacey? Okay, guys, go. Thank you. All I feel right now is I got to go home. I got to get out of here. I need to grab Amy. I need to grab Kai. And I need to grab Allison. We need to have a little discussion. We're going to have a little powwow. We got some things to discuss. All right. That I can't discuss in front of our lovelies. Of course. Yeah, lovely. All right. Okay. We respect that. Right. These three girls, they're going to help me pick which girl is going to get a one-on-one -on -one date with me tonight. All right, sit down here. We have to have a deep, deep discussion. Let's start with Brandy M over here. Yeah. All of her answers were exactly what someone would want to hear, oh, but yeah. we all picked out as we the cutest. Guy, huh? Definite, cute but. body, everything. All right, so um, tell me about Jess. I think she could totally jump on a tour bus. She's golden. Yep. Now, what about Heather? I yeah, think not, she no. is probably the greatest person here. Oh, Go ahead. She's the one that you're on the road all the time. 
She's not gonna be able to sit home and be okay with you being out there and doing your thing. And it will make me miserable. That's what I need to figure out. Okay, can I talk about Sam for a minute? Please talk about oh Sam. Oh my God. I love her. I would be her best friend till there's no tomorrow. I don't think that she has what it takes mentally to <laughs> date you. Oh, I can tell you I'm not ready for Sam to go home. I need you three to go talk to her tonight. I will. Bingo. Yep. All right, let's go to lovely Lacey. No. 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 And she's, she's very wrong for you. I really dig her, though. I just dig her personality. Allison Kai and Amy downloaded me with all kinds of information on these girls. And we decide the results of the super fan challenge. Let's go break it to them. The Fab Five has now become the fearsome foursome. Have we lost, have we lost Sam for this? Sam is upstairs. If Brett finds out that Sam really, really wants to leave right now, I have a feeling that the next elimination, Sam's gonna be gone. We're gonna let Sam chill for a minute right. just to get her thoughts together. Yes. We, we four and the three <laughs> have had a long discussion. <laughs> And I will let Amy take it from here. For me, it came, and for us, it came down to two, um, Jess and Heather. I felt that you two were the most honest and the most upfront. Pretty much the decision tonight uh, to go on the date is... Heather. Woo! 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 Becky! <laughs> Amy! Woo! Even Brett's fans can see that I'm the best woman for him. Finally getting a solo date, pumped. <laughs> <laughs> when Amy, Kai, and Allison told me that they chose Heather, I gotta be honest, I was really excited. I know exactly where we're going. Come so on, let's get out of here. We're going, let's girls, go. take care of my girls. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, bye. See you later. Bye. While I was out on a date with Heather, I left the super fans back in the house to just kind of mix and mingle and find out a little more information on all the other girls. And then when I get back there, they're also gonna help me decide who's going home. Where are we going, anyways? <laughs> Let's get tattoos. Let's you want to get some tattoos? It. Ever since Heather met me, she told me she wanted to get a tattoo, her very first one. I'm going to get Brett yeah, on my right, neck. Right. I'll get it on my neck right here. So I'm going to call her on it. I'm going to take her to a tattoo parlor, and I'm going to see if she's bluffing. Oh, you Just do a name, Brett, and Old E. It's got to be Old E. You will Oldie. love it. Yeah. I know tattoos forever, but I'm crazy about Brett, and this will show a 100% commitment to him. Tattoo parlor, please. You're hair was on fire. Oh, like, it was smoking, and I'm sitting there because, like, you know. I felt it. Like, I was like, <laughs> ow. We're all hanging out with the girls, having fun, and actually starting to finally loosen up. And I'm utilizing this opportunity to just smash the hell out of Lacey. This is the only opportunity I feel like I'm going to have, and I'm going to take it. We see the different side of her in the house with how yeah. Brad around that he doesn't see. And it's malicious, vindictive. Manipulative. I'm not gonna pretend I'm something that I'm not. And that's been my hardest struggle. Like, I'm not a oh fan. God. Is she coming home? She's coming back. See, she ruins every moment. It's serious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so <sorry. laughs> I'm glad. We're like this, girl. You know, I really like Brett's fans. They're a lot of fun and they hate Lacey. If it wasn't you, who would I want to be? Who do you think? Heather. She... Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I think that myself and Heather have the strongest feelings for Brett here. I haven't seen you show any emotion. I feel like you're giving me the right answers. But I okay, need to, come on. I need to believe you. I'm so frustrated right now because I feel like I've had control of the house this whole time. And for the first time, I feel like I'm starting to lose that control. I need to look into your eyes and believe that you have his best interests at heart. The other girls in the house have obviously gotten to the fans. I need to escape from Lacey, seriously. Yeah, for real. Oh, I'm sick of listening. It's like she's just feeding us lines. Yeah. Like, she's not opening us at all. Where's Sam at? I thought she was coming down. Let's go say hi to her. Make her feel included. So, this is here. Where's Sam? Let's go get her. Yeah, let's yeah. get her. All of us decide that none of us want Sam to go. So we all decide to go up to Sam's room and just convince her to stay. I came to say hi to you. Where have you been? So all the girls come into my room. All of them, even the three bitches. It's kind of weird. It, it feels good, but it, it's also, it's weird. We weren't trying to make you feel uncomfortable earlier. We're just trying to get to know people. Honestly. And we, <laughs> we love you. Honestly, we do. And you have to stay. I think you should at least give it 
24 more hours. The other girls in the house try to convince her to stay. And you know what, I decide to go along with it because I think, you know, it's just gonna make me look better in front of the fans. Well, how about if I talk to her? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Good plan, good plan. When you look in those blue eyes. So now I'm more conflicted than ever and I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, um, we are to the point where we collectively has, have narrowed it down to two. And when I tell you who you are, I want to come down with us because we want to talk to you The two bit. that you think are the worst? The, two that, the two that I think may um, not be the best. May not be the best for him or Brett. Okay. Um, Lacey mm -hmm. and Brandy. Okay. The fans have decided that Brandy and I are the bottom two choices. This is crazy. I can't believe I've been put into this situation. <sighs> Hi! Hey, Heather. How are you? Heather, Great. nice you to meet you. Great, man. How you doing? We've got some great ideas of stuff that we know we want to do. Mm -hmm. And she's thinking about getting my name on the back of the neck. Kill him. And you're going to get his him. name, huh? Right here on the back of my neck. It's All my right. first tattoo, so. <laughs> I'm freaking out, and I don't want Brett to see this. What if I can do this? Do I'm going to have to be, do about 40 more shots. Yeah. Just because okay. I know, I know <laughs> it's, it's a little painful, right? Thing, no, that's probably not the best thing to do. If Heather actually goes through with this, it would impress the living <laughs> out of me. I mean, this is a tattoo for life. For life. 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 This guy's. Are you ready? Albert's work is great. You ready? <laughs> Hold my drink. I mean, slash hand. Okay, now I'm scared. Take your necklace off. There you go. Thank you. Okay, now turn your back. Yee! Am I okay? Okay. You're all right. Just listen to Albert now. I'm going to step. I'm, a, I'm just watching. You're not going to leave me, are you? I am not staying right here. I just got to let him be where he wants to be. It's going to look beautiful. And don't move too much. Just so I know, we're totally straight across. It's sort of there to yeah. there, so you know that. I know, I oh see God. it. Great. Look, it's going to look beautiful. Wait. Don't move. OK. So baby, it, it feels erotic. Erotic my ass? It's going to hurt. You got to listen to him now. I'm just okay. holding okay. here to hold your hand. OK. Hey, nice. All right, don't move, baby. Wait. Don't you're, tense you're, up. You're, you're, don't think too much. Go to a happy place. Oh, my hell. Up. We just need something. I need something. something real. I'm fighting for my life to convince them that I do have a heart. It's not easy keeping this wall up. And later, I really think that I might be going home tonight and it's killing me. One past left and two girls who I really care about a lot. One of you has to go home tonight. All right, don't move, baby. Okay. It's gonna hurt. It's melting my skin and 40 layers of my epidermis burning off. Okay. Just go to a happy place. I'm holding her arms and she's holding mine and she's getting my name tattooed on her neck. It was a really, really close moment between me and Heather. Getting a tattoo can be a very erotic experience. Not only does the pain start to become this kind of trance feeling that just kind of gets me aroused. I've had some of the best sex ever after getting some tattoo work done. Is it good, honey? Cool. Yeah? OK, now stand up. This looks incredible. Does it? it looks incredible. Nice. Yeah. Mm, that's so hot. Uh, it's very dainty. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. None of these other bitches would ever step up and get his name tattooed on their body. Maybe I love it. I think it's hot. You lo it looks so sexy and cool. I'm just falling and falling for this man. And I just feel like we're always gonna be in each other's lives. I know a tattoo's forever, but I'm crazy about Brett, and this will show a 100% commitment to him. Tell everybody we said thanks. We'll see you all later. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Take care. I just wanna say my first impression is still there. Yeah. That's why you're here. Lacey and I are the two that Brett's fans think are not right for Brett. So we have to prove to them, his fans, why we're best for him. What I want is for you to tell me why you should stay. Because deep down, my heart is involved, and I feel that hers isn't 100% as much as mine is. And what about you, Lacey? I, I absolutely understand and appreciate the, the fact that I have a, a tough exterior. I have my defenses up. Um, and I really, really, really care about Brad. Yeah, I know you
been questioning it, and I know you've been pondering what you should do. The past two and a half, three hours, I've been hanging out with those chicks, talked to every single one of them. Not once did anything bad come up about you. Oh. So now I'm more conflicted than ever. I don't know whether I should stay or if I should go. But right there, that should tell you. If you can honestly admit that you're in this for your heart, then do it. <sighs> I'm just afraid of getting hurt. Aren't you? 100%. That's only one me back. So I'm asking you. I'm asking you to reconsider walking out. OK. It's time for me to, to face my fear. And if I get rejected, then I get rejected. But at least I take it like a champ, so I'm staying. Let's say it's an optimistic to opportunity. The fact that I, somebody from outside the house is going to see who Drew Lacey's true colors are. And they saw it. Thank God the fans hate Lacey because now Sam wants to stay. I think that you have, have definitely seen a part of who I really am, but I have a lot of depth. And I think if you girls were to hang out with me for like, you know, even just two or three days, you would definitely see the, the warmth and the compassion that I have for people who are close to me. Plus, the thing is that these girls have been living with you and they have spent time with you and they don't see, I don't know, maybe they do see the real you. Tell me something heartfelt. Tell me something, tell me something. I'm fighting for my life here, so I realize that I have to give them something to convince them that, that I do have depth, that I do have emotions, and I do have a heart. What I can tell you is that this, this whole situation is taxing because it's not easy keeping this wall up all the time. But because of the experiences I've had in my life, that to me is my survival. If I didn't have this tool, then I wouldn't have been able to survive some of the things I've been through. Lacey's tears? I don't think so. This is my impression of Lacey trying to squeeze out tears for Brett's fans. <laughs> All right, girls, we have some things to talk about. So we're going to go in Brett's room and uh, wait for him. We're going to talk. Thank you. One minute, Sam wants to go home. Lacey starts crying. The house is insane. Well, because I didn't cry, I lose out on this. I'm feeling bummed right now because I really want to stay. I really want to get to know him more, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> you got this, baby. No, I don't. Are you ready? Did you have a great time? Honey, I had a great awesome. time. Awesome, me too. I love it. Looking at my name tattooed on the back of Heather's neck made me feel close and romantic. I didn't want to lose this girl in my life. What's up? We got tattoos. Did you? Yes. Are you guys trucking Truckerton? No, we had a bad night. What happened, what happened, honey? I hate all this drama. I'm just so pumped I want to show my tattoo off. Are you guys all right? What the f going on? And everybody's crying me a river. What the hell happened while I was gone? You got a tattoo? I got a tattoo, yes. Do you, have you get? tattoos? Take it off. You did not. Oh my you God. Brett on the back. Did he tell you what? your name? What kind of a dumb bitch gets a guy's name tattooed on her neck for her first tattoo and she's not even technically dating him? This bitch has lost her mind. Mm. I'm in love with that guy. Hello, beautiful <laughs> ladies. Right after Heather and I arrived back at the house, I took my super fans to the side to decide who was going home tonight. You all got to fill me in on what's going on. We can go through all these girls, but here's what I think. Brandy and Sam are the two that are sitting on the fence. Brandy, I have not put my finger on yet. Sam, who I think actually has a lot of love in her soul, she's very sensitive. There's Late. something there. Is there something yeah, good there? there's something there. Our bottom two tonight was actually uh, Brandy and Lacey. Did Lacey ever come back around or no? That was at the very end. We, the we end. finally, got, we told her just to give us something real. But um, I, I don't think leave. that she's your girl. Mm -mm. She's the one that should go. Amy, Kai, and Allison told me to get rid of Lacey. Surprise, everyone else hated her. Why not my super fans, right? I just need to think about this and decide who I want to I wanna eliminate tonight. Thank you very much. Bye, baby. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. I really got to consider my fans' advice, but I've also got to consult my own feelings. 
It's gonna be a tough choice, one that I have to make pretty quick. Oh. Coming up. Very emotional day today. Nowhere in my soul that I wanna hurt anybody. I really think that I might be going home tonight. The decision I made tonight was the toughest one I have made so far. Unfortunately, one of you has to go home tonight. I feel like the girls in the house, they've won, and that sucks. I'm feeling pretty confident about elimination, and I just hope to God Lacey's the one that's going home. So I had a little bit of an episode earlier. The truth is, I don't want to be here, but I want to be with him. The first time, I really think that I might be going home tonight, and it's killing me. I feel like the girls in the house, they've kind of won, and that sucks. Buddy. Hi. Very emotional day today. Before I start this tonight, I just want to say that you all know that there is nowhere in my soul that I want to hurt anybody. That's not my intention. I'm just looking for the person in this house that I can find that's right for me. Having said that, I've had a lot of time back there just going over stuff. Not only my girls and my friends that came here today to help me out, but inevitably, the decision is mine. So I want to get down to, we got five beautiful girls here that I consider much more than friends, but unfortunately, one of you has to go home tonight. John, if you hit me at the pass. This girl tonight really shined through. My friends that I brought in here thought she was awesome. I felt that tonight this girl made a true commitment. Heather, would you come down here, please? I feel awesome and wonderful. I've proved to Brett how much I care about him. So I'm in the clear. I'm golden. I just cannot tell you how much that meant to me by, by getting my name tattooed on your body. That's pretty insanely awesome. All right, I want to say thank yeah. you for your commitment. Absolutely. Will you stay here and rock my world? Forever. Awesome. Oh my god. Maybe not tonight, but I guarantee you within a couple days, this dumb bitch is going to regret getting that thing. The next girl I want to call down here tonight was one of the girls that my girls thought was absolutely awesome, very confident personality, and someone um, I've had a chance to get to know over the last couple dates. Jess, would you come down here, please? I just want to tell you that Kai said you're a really good kisser and a bit of a biter as well. Your mom's going to be real proud. She's going to love Mom's going to love you. Yes. Will you stay in this house? Continue to rock my world. Yes, and can you bite your lips? Yes. yes, and bite my lips. <laughs> the more and more I fall for him, it's, you know, the happier I am that I'm here, so I just can't wait to keep it going. All right, this is somebody who the girls today, when they met her, at first felt that she was not the one and should go home immediately. However, after getting to know her more, felt that she should stay in his house and um, at least give one more try. Brandy, would you come down here, please? Let me ask you, do you want to stay in this house and continue to try to rock my world? I'm going to do the best I can. Yes, I want to stay in this house. OK. Will you I stay here? <laughs> rock my world? Yes. OK. There you go. I'm rocking it out. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, we've come down to Lacey and Sam. The real deal is I've got one pass left and two girls who I really care about a lot. But the decision I made tonight was the toughest one I have made so far, bar none. John, can I have the pass, please? Lacey, would you come down here? I want to say to you that I am sorry for everything you went through today and everything that we have been through. It's really tough for me to make this decision tonight because Sam, I obviously care about a lot and I care a lot about you. Like, I have no idea what's going on right now, but I'm nervous as hell and I do not know if I'm leaving or staying. Are you willing to try to stay in this house one more day and rock my world? Yes? Okay. Are you kidding me? I don't f***ing who, Lacey. Thank you.
Sam, would you come down here, please? Sam is so pathetic. I'm so glad to see her ass go home. You gotta hold my hand. You know how much I care about you. And, and I just want to say this to you. I look at you and I think it is killing me to watch you go through what you're going through. What I go through in this house is one-tenth of what we would face out in the real world. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Those girls loved you and thought you had the biggest soul of everybody here, but felt that it would make you just snap. And you know how much I care about you, right? Okay? Friends. We, we, I, I was wishing much more than that, but I think, <laughs> I think we will be lifelong friends. Okay, good. All right? Mm -hmm. I mean that. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have an awesome soul, but the Torian's here, all right? Okay. If I'm gonna get rejected, then Brett did it in a very loving, sensual, romantic way, just how I would wanna go out. With guns blazing! In the end, it was one of the toughest choices I made on the whole show, but I had to let Sam go. I was watching her cry and break down, and I could not put her through it no more. Come on down, everybody. I'm seeing Lacey bawling like a little baby, and I'm just thinking, bravo, where's her Oscar? It's the first time I've heard you not talk. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad that I'm still here. It's amazing what a few tears will do. To the fearsome foursome, let's open this up and celebrate another day of insanity. There's no crying and beer drinking. Next time. You ready to roll? We're going to Las Vegas. I love this lifestyle. That's why I'm called Wild Thing. Don't be nothing but a good time. If you're going to date a rock star, you need to drink like a rock star. Whoa. I'm in a band. This is right at my alley. Show me what you got. As I was pulling Brandy's head out of the toilet, she said something that was probably one of the most touching moments of my life. I love Ooh. But I don't know if I can hang. I don't think I got it. That Michaels is not the one for me. It's pretty apparent that she hasn't been up front with Brett. I don't do good dating, manic, <laughs> depressive. There's a part of me right on the fence about completely falling for you. Don't be scared. Have a good life. Sure, as I buckled. I saw you go down. Dude, that was the worst. You almost can't believe it. No, you're um, like... You're like, what's that going on? Oh, there's some, you know, what the hell? I'm not moving around so much. I don't... Please spell it correctly this time. No, he's already got that. Oh, it's already popping already, honey. <laughs> you, can you, it. you know, it's okay if you spell something incorrectly in, in like, if it's a spelling bee, yeah. when it's your arm. <laughs>